morning and welcome to Studio 5. Starting today with a really fun topic. What once was just a tool to get from one place to another mm -hmm. that men hate to use or at least ask for directions or something <laughs> is now a huge trend in home decor. It's maps. We're talking about maps. We spotted them everywhere lately in all styles of decor from modern to traditional. Any style can pull this off and simply put, it seems people can't get enough of them. They are taking over the decorating world. From map printed wallpaper to map covered furniture, maps are a top trend in high end catalogs like Pottery Barn and in local boutiques like this one in American Fork, where they turned old globes into eye catching ceiling decor. But maps are most popular with creative crafters who are turning maps into hip home accessories. And after that, we moved to Iowa, where my husband was in law school. Even KSL News reporter Jennifer Stagg is taking on this trend in her own home, using maps as a way to document her and her husband's life together and create custom wall art all at the same time. I just went to like Barnes & Noble and bought a bunch of different maps of all the places that we've lived together since we've been married. And then I just went to Ikea and bought some inexpensive frames and put them all together. But no matter how you use them, maps are the perfect way to add a touch of history and beauty to any room, from the den to the nursery. personal aspect of this yeah. trend. You can personalize it like Jen did or like other crafters are doing and make it really personal, a personal statement. That's what jumped out to me too because no matter what you have, no matter what kind of furniture style you have, you can use the maps and make them personalized for you and whatever your home needs. It's a fun trend. Someone else really inspired by maps, designer Christine McKay. And you say you love this trend. Does it really apply to all decorating styles? I think it does because you can buy maps in all different colors. Um, for instance, you can go more of the vintage. You can go traditional. So you, you're it really does go with any style, and I think travel is kind of universal. Mm -hmm. And it, is, it does bring that personal aspect into your home. Not everybody's got a whole bunch of maps or globes sitting around the house. You know, it's not like something everyone has in their closet. You do. Darren has <laughs> a map he's hanging on to and praying his wife will let him hang one day, It's right? like one of those giant old school ones you pull down from the wall, but she won't let me use anywhere. So where can people go to find those maps? Brand new globes cost anywhere from $60 to $100. So some great places to go are TJ Maxx, which is where I got this one. And they had... I saw this one. They had several in like different colors and hues that were really cool. Um, Hobby Lobby is another favorite of mine. You know, it showed the one of the globes hanging from the ceiling, and I thought, how cute just to hang like a bunch of these. And, and all I did was just glue a ribbon on. And you can see they come in different colors. Right. Um, these were 50% off at Hobby Lobby, so $5. So really, really inexpensive. Um, another great place to go is... Um, the Desert Industries or secondhand store because you can get all sorts of old atlases and books that you don't feel bad about cutting up and, and crafting with. Sometimes even in the glove compartment of your ball, of your car. I think there are like 83 old maps in there you never knew from some trip, and you could probably even dig them out of there. Exactly. And probably the best place that I found maps, and, and she mentioned it in the piece, is Barnes & Noble. Mm -hmm. For instance, this map right here, I mean, it's huge, and it was only $5. So they're anywhere from 5 to $7. And what I did with this one right here is because I wanted to personalize this one as well. So down in the right corner, Brooke, right, right here, sorry. Okay. No, no. Um, I just oh, put, I put a little banner in there that says the, the McKay family travels. And, you know, it has the year we got married. And I thought, what a cute wedding gift that that would be. And then you can just put a magnet board behind it and just do, like, little pebble magnets or a bulletin board and just put the dates of all the places that you've gone. So I love the personal aspect of oh, that. So the dates are inside the Yeah, magnet. they're just behind the little bubble rock that you can buy any craft store and then put a magnet right on the back. Darling idea. So that would be a really fun wedding gift um, for really, That'd really inexpensive. Wedding. Okay. So really fun on that one. Um, and then I have to tell you, the first map that I saw that totally caught my eye was this right here um, at uh, Target. And I loved it because it was just kind of retro and kind of funky and just really cool fun. colors. And so when I saw this one, I thought, you know what, you can get a little crazy with it. You don't have to be so traditional. So what this map inspired me to do, um, Brooke and Darren, is this bag right here. Now, I have to say, I love, love, love to travel. And so how I created this was 
I use the Cricut cartridge by um, uh, Provo Craft, and mm -hmm. I have to say, if you're doing any kind of map art, this is a must-have. Um, I have to say, I started out that I was going to use fabric, but I went in the fabric store and had a little bit of an anxiety attack, and so I went back to paper. <laughs> what well, trigger this anxiety I attack? I think fabric, sewing machines, I don't know. You're so, comfortable with paper, so not so much. To paper. Where's the liquid stick? I need it now. <laughs> exactly. So for all my, my paper crafters, what I did is I took my favorite paper collection, which is Restoration by Crate Paper. I cut them out on the Cricut. I put it together in Photoshop, and then I put it, I printed it out onto iron-on paper, and then ironed it onto the bag. Now, the hardest part of this project was knowing where the states were. It's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, my 14-year-old, you know, got fourth place in, like, the state geography <laughs> piece, so I was like, help, where's Wisconsin? Which one is New Hampshire? Exactly. Yeah. And I, I didn't it. even realize New Jersey was a state. He about had a heart attack. <laughs> It's a city. <laughs> okay, that's too much. Sharing too much. <laughs> so just for, kidding. For all of you, just kidding. Oh, yeah. Yeah. For all of you geography challenged, um, <laughs> I actually you can download this as is. You don't have to do any of the you know the puzzling it together. You can download it, print it onto so iron is this on the paper. Iron paper that you just did it onto. Yeah, and when you print you. it, you'll want to make sure that you flip it to a reverse so that when it um because you'll have to put it upside down when you ironed it on. Anyone who's printer. made that mistake, I mean, uh, come on. <laughs> we yeah. all of us. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Raise your hand. Yeah. <laughs> so then you just iron. And what I did is I ironed it on a separate piece of muslin. I frayed the edges and then, of course, liquid stitched frayed it. Frayed edges on it. Okay. My face. So now, my ultimate goal with this bag is from now on, everywhere that I travel, I want to get a pin. And then I'm going to put the pin oh, on the state. Cute. So that's kind of a fun little collector, you know, memory item to carry along with you on all your trips. I love that. Okay. So the next thing that caught my eye, I love storage. I love trunks. I use them in my scrapbook room to hold ribbon and fabric. Mm -hmm. So I found this old um, makeup case at a secondhand store. And I actually also used maps that I found in an atlas that were only a dollar. And I covered the smaller trunk. I got this larger one at um, Hobby Lobby. And it was only $30 which I think is a great deal. Um, this one cost me about $6 down in the front, and it is a little more traditional, but really so fun. So fun to just display. Yeah, What absolutely. is this? Okay, this. I left it rough so that you can just get an idea of what you do. What I did is I cut the bottom of the globe. This is okay. actually a real globe. This is a real globe like that. that I purchased okay. secondhand, and I cut with my knives, with my, knives, the my kitchen knives. It's not as strong as I thought it was. Yeah, it's <laughs> I mean, it's just a simple, thin layer. Yeah, and it worked really good because I just got this little light attachment at Ikea for okay. $3. Okay. So I thread it through the top, and you can see the light bulb, and I'm going to hang it from my son's ceiling in his my little geography bee winner. Cool. Yeah, it is. So it's going to be a nice little lamp. And oh, and course, he's your geography boy. Yeah. Perfect. So he loves it. Well, you know, even if your kid was like a, a train boy or an airplane boy or just any kind of map travel, travel, anything, anything would go with that. It really goes with anything. And then, of course, I'll, I'll just kind of touch that up with a little bit of paint. So Love it. And make it make it look a little better. Okay, you carried this in the okay. studio, and I gasped. Okay, last one. I think it's so fun. I love this idea. I saw, um, I was on online and I saw so many different tables that were, that were covered with maps and I thought it was great and I had this old bookshelf and so what I did is I just took the back off um, painted it and then covered the back with the map and then um, just uh, modge podged it on and there you go and this would look great in any room and like we said if you have more of a traditional room mm -hmm. then you could do the like more of the antique weathered maps right. so really it can go with any decor and you know like with any trend a little goes a long way so all of the things that we show here, whether it's birds or numbers or game pieces or travel, just a touch of everything can really bring your style and trend into the room. Fun. Great ideas. And of course, we've got some information for you. You can download your own map patterns at Christine's blog. She always got great downloads there. It's kmckdesigns.com. And of course, we'll have a link from our website as well. Thank you so much. We're going to call you Miss New Jersey. All right. Okay. Thanks for the day. <laughs>